There are many cancers we've heard of and raise money for often, but what about rare cancers that don't have as much research behind finding their cure? We are joined right now by Casey Barella. She is a freshman at Georgetown University, and she's writing in Cycle for Survival to help raise money for to find a cure for those rare cancers. Casey, welcome to Great Day. Hi, thank you for having me. First of all, we should mention that this is very personal for you, right? The yes. rare cancers is something that has touched your own family. Mm -hmm. So my father was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer about two years after he graduated from Georgetown. Um, and when he was diagnosed with that cancer, there was a very, very low possibility that he would survive, but he did. He had to learn how to walk and talk all over again, again and he did. And he lived about the next 20 years of his life with this rare cancer. So mm. my whole life growing up was with him having cancer. He was treated at Memorial Sloan Kettering so I spent a lot of time there growing up. Um, and I ride for him, and he passed away about two years ago. Mm. And from that moment on, I made it my mission to make sure that even though we couldn't save my dad, that other children didn't have to grow up with their parents having cancer and ultimately losing their parents. Wow, what an inspiration, mm -hmm. you and your dad and your family. And so this team that you've put together, Cycle mm -hmm. for Survival, um, what's this event like and why is it so, you know, so much fun for you to be a part of? It's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love the Cycle for Survival events. I look forward to them every year. Basically, it's just like a really, really big dance party on a bike. Nice. Yeah. Um, so you go and you have these incredible Equinox instructors who really hype you up and there's this great music and there are amazing speeches from cancer survivors and mm. people who have been affected by cancer themselves and you're just riding your bike and you're dancing. This and is you in the past couple of years, oh, yeah, right? that is me. <laughs> it's so fun. Having a horrible time. Yeah. yeah, you laugh, you cry, you make a lot of like new friends, you go with your friends, it's an incredible experience. Is there something healing for you personal about it? Because we were mentioning yeah. the rare cancers don't get as much attention as right. some, yeah. some other cancers do. And so to be able to actually tell people your dad's story and yeah. try to find the cure. I've been really, really fortunate and lucky to be able to give a battle cry at Past Cycle for Survival events. And that battle cry is basically where you have someone who's been affected by cancer and they go up on stage and they just tell this room full of so many people mm -hmm. who are just working so hard for the same cause that you're working for. And I just got to like tell them my story. And I think when you are a child of someone who has cancer, it's really, really hard because you feel like there's nothing that you can do. You know, like mm -hmm. growing up, it was so much like my dad was sick and I felt like I couldn't do anything about it. And then I found Cycle for Survival, which is the best thing that you can do. It was my dad would get emails from Memorial Sloan Kettering that would be like, we have these clinical trials coming up completely funded by money raised by Cycle for Survival. Like, would you like to participate? So it's really cool for me to be able to know that like, hey, yeah. I'm yeah. making this difference. And in my four years, I've raised over <laughs> this is incredible a hundred thousand dollars by myself which is really oh cool gosh yeah. yes and your team it's jp right? yeah my dad's name was john paul barella okay so jp right. okay mm -hmm. so you're riding this weekend maybe mm -hmm. we'll give people a little look at what it's like right because you said it's not very yeah hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so you, you can make it a workout if you want yeah but you can even oh, if you oh, could I barely ride glasses. let's see here and if you love this you. and you like what i said there is a ride coming up in the next few weeks in bethesda so registration for tomorrow and the rest of the weekend in DC is closed, but Bethesda is still open. Okay. You can visit cycleforsurvival.org for more information on that. That's on oh. February 23rd. You oh. have many time slots. We're actually going to be riding in that one because it is fun. <laughs> I mean, you have your pom poms, there's really good music, yeah. Yeah. it's great energy. Yeah, it's a really good time. And Casey, yeah. thank you so much for Absolutely. for all of that you've raised. I know Cycle for Survival itself has raised what two hundred thirty-five million? million since its founding in two thousand and seven. Wow. Yeah, which is yeah. insane. So, what do cancers. you say to other kids um, that are going through something, or other people that have a loved one and they feel like yeah. they can't help? How do you help inspire them, knowing that they are yeah. a big part of this journey? That there's something that you can do. You have to look, and it might be hard to find it, but once you find it, there is something that you can do, and that is Cycle for Survival. Oh, that's amazing and raising money and, and honestly just being there. Yeah, and know. finding that community yeah. too of people who have right. gone through what you've gone through. That's it's right. incredible. You're not alone. Yeah, You're absolutely. Not, educating not. those of us who had no idea. Yeah. No idea about the rare cancers and how much it was underfunded. Mm -hmm. So right. thank you, Casey. Yeah. Okay. Sign up. Yep. Join us at the Come out and thank join so Casey much. and all of us. <laughs> Cycle for story, Survival. So. Uh, check it out. Coming up with Bethesda, February 23rd, right? Yep. I get that right. All right. <laughs> Work out for a good cause. Why not? We'll see you tomorrow for Friday.